Okay, let's dive into how the trypam-8 molecule starts an action potential in the nerve cell. So here inside, in the middle of the tetramer, is the pore. The pore will let the cations from outside the cell inside the cell. So if we take a cartoon of how this tetramer functions, you can see that it's normally closed in the membrane where the cations, the calcium, and the sodium are outside the cell and they would like to come inside the cell and flow down their concentration gradient, but they can't. And at 25 degrees or above, it's closed. But if the temperature is lowered below 25 degrees Celsius, then all of the various tetramers inside the tip of the neuron near the skin undergo a conformational change. And the conformational chain exposes the pore and the various cations can then flow inside the cell. If enough cations flow in from all the various trypam-8 tetramers, eventually minus 55 millivolts is reached on the inside of the cellular membrane. This is called a gate threshold because when it's reached, all the voltage-gated channels in the cellular membrane are then triggered and they open up, propagating an action potential that travels up the axon of the neuron. Another name this channel is given is CMR1, a cold and menthol receptor. Section 2 of the transmembrane domain is responsible for a special function of this molecule. It reacts to menthol, eucalyptol, and another molecule called isolin in the same way that it reacts to cold. Basically, when these different molecules attach to Section 2, it causes the tetramer to undergo a conformational change and let in the cations just like cold does. The parts of the brain that receive the signal from this neuron don't understand the difference between cold or menthol. That's why when you eat mint or if you rub a type of lotion on your hand that has a cooling menthol in it or anything that has eucalyptol in it from a eucalyptus tree, these things fool your brain into thinking they're cold. Let's focus in on how cold starts action potentials. If we take a normal ambient room temperature, which is 25 degrees, the channel is closed. So all the cations, the calcium 2 plus and the sodium plus, they're all remaining outside the neuron and are unable to get inside. And inside the neuron, uh, the, uh, the, the resting potential is minus 70 millivolts. So if the temperature is lowered, let's say 20 degrees Celsius, you start getting action potentials, and these will have a certain frequency. If the temperature is lowered even further, say 15 degrees, the frequency of these action potentials will increase. And this is how the brain figures out how cold something is, is the frequency of the action potentials starts increasing the lower the temperature gets. In addition to increasing their frequency, as the temperature gets lowered even further, the neuron starts producing quick bursts of, of action potentials. And as the temperature gets colder yet still, these bursts of action potentials then increase their own frequency. So the cold sensing neuron is actually amazing in that it has a wide variety of ways that it can translate the different temperatures to the brain so that the brain can figure out how cold we are. So before we end the lesson, I want to focus a little bit on how these TRIP-M8 proteins are specifically designated to get into the tip of the finger and how exactly do they get there. So as you know, there's a long axon going from the fingertip up to the spinal column and up in the upper arm is the cell body. So the cell body, of course, is going to be responsible for making all of the proteins and the various things that the cell needs to function. So let's zoom in here on the cell body. We've got a nucleus where all the DNA is located and outside this nucleus is the rough ER and the ER which are the endoplasmic reticulum. And when DNA is translated into RNA, it travels to the endoplasmic reticulum where it meets ribosomes and these ribosomes will then make the protein. Once they're done making the protein, it buds off into this thing called a vesicle. 
And this vesicle is spherical membrane that's dotted with all these various proteins in it. In this case, it'll be trip M8 tetramers. And this vesicle is then transported down the arm into the tip of the axon, which in this case is located in the finger. Neurons are really amazing cells. The whole time this neuron is responding to cold and menthol and sending action potentials and determining the temperature and, and sending up various pulses of action potentials, while this is going on, the cell body is keeping the whole thing alive, such that inside the cell, molecules are going up and down this microtubule track, which helps transport all the various proteins to the parts of the cell that it needs, but the membrane is meanwhile conducting electric potentials up to the brain. So it's a very dynamic system in which all the various parts are working at the same time. And this concludes lesson two on TRIP-M8 and its response to cold and menthol.